Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from Kenmore Microwave Cookery of 1982, we're going to be making the super sandwich. And yes, microwave cookery. Onto a thick slice of Italian buttered bread, we add bologna, summer sausage, more bologna, and more summer sausage. Then drain sauerkraut. And we top that with a slice of mozzarella cheese. Now we cook in the microwave on the defrost setting for three to four minutes. Now we sprinkle with paprika and let it sit for one minute. Okay, let's give this super sandwich a go. It's interesting. I don't know that I would have chosen mozzarella for this. I would have done Swiss or Gruyere. The meat is heated up nicely. Everything's kind of melding together, but the bread is super soggy. Not a big fan of that. I do want to try and plus that up just a little. I'm going to add a little Dijon mustard and another piece of bread. Okay, let's give this super sandwich plussed up with a little Dijon mustard and an extra piece of bread. Go. Really any mustard would do in this situation. It's working really well with the sauerkraut, really well with the summer sausage and the bologna. The cheese is just kind of there. It's not really bringing a lot to the party. Mozzarella is not a super strongly flavored cheese, as you know. All right, so it's clear to me that the good folks at Kenmore really, really, really wanted to prove that you could make a sandwich in a microwave. If they were smart, they would have had you just put the meat stacked with the sauerkraut and the cheese in the microwave, melt that, and then put that on a toasted bread. But the original super sandwich, like flavor-wise, that would be like a seven for me, but that bottom texture of the bread is gonna knock it down to like a five and a half. It's just not as good as it could be. Um, plus up a little Dijon mustard, and a top piece of bread that gets up to about a six and a half. If they had actually had us heat the filling of the sandwich and then put it on toasted bread, that would probably be like an eight, nine. It's a delicious combination of flavors. It's just, you know, soggy bread. Hmm. Definitely gonna finish that. Not gonna make it again like this. Sorry, Kenmore. See you tomorrow.